Here's an idea. Actually, here's two ideas. We're on vacation eating vegetables with our families, but we wouldn't want to leave you guys without something to discuss. So for your dialogical enjoyment, we present you the following two ideas. Idea number one, the sandwich signaled the beginning of classical modernity. I know, the construction of the sandwich as some food bits between some sandwich parts has been around for a very long time. Since long before what we might call classical modernity, which began around the end of the 18th century. Which incidentally is about the same time that this arrangement of food items got its name from the Honorable Mr. John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, who liked to eat the food item while playing cards so that he didn't get meaty grease on his hands and thus his cards. In other words, it let him multitask. Now, some studies have shown that we have been multitasking since prehistoric times, but it's the sandwich's many attributes, including the enabling of multitasking, that makes me wonder how related to modernity it is. It's portable and modular and probably a bunch of other things I haven't thought of. What do you think? Sandwich? Modernity? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Anyways, if that's not your cup of tea or slice of pastrami, here's one more idea for you. Idea number two, music lyric websites should license the lyrics that they display because they are stealing money from recording artists. A couple weeks ago, the National Music Publishers Association in concert with musicians rights activist David Lowry issued 50 DMCA takedown notices to lyrics websites. The complaint is that these websites are illegally using the creative work of lyricists and songwriters for profit. The argument is that they are serving up these lyrics with advertising alongside them, and so they need to license the lyrics so that the songwriters see a piece of the action. However, some of the websites have claimed that they are not even profitable, and that along with the lyrics, they're offering up user interpretations and reactions to the lyrics, making it less of a lyrics database and more of a lyrics knowledge database, putting them squarely in fair use territory. What do you guys think? Is the degree of reliance on the creative work of songwriters enough to warrant licensing the lyrics, or are rap genius at all? totally fine. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget, next week we are going to be answering your questions, but we need to know what your questions are. So there's a link to the subreddit in the description and a link to a Google moderator page in the description. Ask us questions. I want to answer them. And of course, for everybody in North America, happy Turkey Day or Tofurkey Day or Brussels Sprout Day, whichever you so choose. And for everybody else, have a happy Thursday.